Today's lesson is lesson 1.2, Place Value Concepts. Our math message today is which number is larger, 46,385 or 463,850? You need to go ahead and write both of those numbers down in your math message section of your notes and be prepared to explain your thinking as to why one number is larger than the other one. Our vocabulary today is basically one word, expanded, or two words, I should say, expanded form. An expanded form is when we write out the value of each digit and, the, and add the numbers. So a couple of ways you can do that. If you take a look at the first example that I have here, we have the number 7,692. If we were going to write out the value of each of those digits, the 7 is worth 7,000. The 6 is worth 600, the 9 is worth 90, and our 2, of course, is worth 2. So basically, we just set that up as an addition problem, and we add those numbers together, and then we get our number that we began with, which is 7,692. Another way that you can do that is to actually stack the numbers, and that's what I've done down here at the bottom where I wrote out the number 7,690 and then 2. And of course, my number should be scooted over a little bit so the columns are actually lined up. So hopefully you'll do a better job than I did typing that in. But you need to make sure that those are lined up so that when you add them together, you've got your digits in the correct spot. Now, today's lesson is for everyone to be able to explore place value by using that expanded form that we just spoke about and then compare the values of the digits. So if I take a look at these two numbers that I have here in pink and I'm trying to determine which number is larger, the first number the four is worth four ten thousands, as you can see right here. The seven is worth seven one thousands because it's in the one thousands place. The eight is worth eight one hundreds. We have the nine be nine tens and another nine of nine ones, which gives us our final number of 47,899. Then if we move down to the second number, we've got again four ten thousands, eight one thousands this time, nine one hundreds, zero tens, and eight ones. So if we were to look at that in expanded form, we should be able to determine that 47,899 is less than 48,908. So what you're going to do right now is practice a few problems with me and then we're going to determine which number is greater than or less than or equal to the other. So if we take a look at our first problem, we have 947 and we have 953. So basically we have 900 plus 40 plus 7 is our first number. Second number we have 900 plus 50 plus 3. 
So when we look here, these two numbers are the same value. But when we come over here, we can see that our 5 is definitely larger than our 4. So that is going to make this problem, 947, is less than 953. So let's erase that, and let's look at the next problem. We have 1,654, so that means we're going to have 1,000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 4 would be our first one. And then our second one is 1,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 9. So we start here. This number and this number is the same value. So we move over to the next value, which is our hundreds. We've got a 6. We've got a 7. 7 is definitely larger then 6, so that means that 1,654 is less than 1,789. If we take a look at the next problem, we have 3,615, and then we have the number 3,605. Boy, those sound really close to one another. So, the first one would be 3,000 plus 600 plus 10 plus 5. Second number would be 3,000 plus 600 plus Ooh, I don't have anything in the 10 spot, so I guess that would be a 0 plus 5. So these values look very similar, don't they? So this 3 is the same as this 3. 6 and 6. Aha! Here's my difference. This 10 is definitely bigger than 0, which means... 3,615 is greater than 3,605. Let's take a look at our last one here. We've got 43,671. And then our second number is 44,876. So let's see what's going on with these two numbers. We've got 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 600 plus 70 plus 1. I could barely squeeze that on there. And then we have 40,000 plus 4,000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 6. And as we go down the line here, 4 and 4 are the same. We come over here, we have a 3 and a 4. 4 is definitely larger than 3. So that means that 43,671 is less than... 44,876. So here are the three problems that you are going to have to calculate and figure out on your own. This is your ticket to group, so make sure you record these three problems in your notes and record your answers, of course. Bring them to class and show me that you know your stuff. To summarize what we've talked about and learned about today, we used expanded form to compare whole numbers. We used two different methods. Actually, I only used one in the practice problems, but I showed you two different methods. You can stack your numbers, 
and you can compare whole numbers by writing out the values of each of those digits.